guys. I'm just jamming. Oh my god, I just heard this awesome song called Zombie by, oh, I don't remember the name of the band. It's a brand new remake. I'm on my way to get my MRI. Bad Wolves. If you guys haven't heard it, it is incredible. It's really well done. Uh, but yeah, I'm on my way down to Oconto here and I gotta go down to get my thumb or get my MRI for my left thumb, which I haven't been having that many problems with lately. Probably because I haven't been to the shop. But once I start working in the shop and then all hell goes, you know, it goes all out the window. I can't talk at all today. Yeah. I'm taking country roads here. But I'm starting to wonder if that was a bad idea because it's already uh, 10.30. I gotta be there by 11. And I don't know how much longer I've got to go here. But, um... Alright, anyway, I'm gonna get back to jamming. Oh my god, I am just finding some great music today. I was just listening to some Breaking Benjamin. Um, some Rise Against. Just epic music. Oh my god, I just love it. It's a bit better of a day than it was yesterday. You get me on the car driving around for a little bit. And my whole attitude changes. Um, especially when my music is involved. It just makes everything, all my stresses, all my worries just melt away. If I can hear Breaking Benjamin and Shine Down and Stone Sour and all of them bands, not to mention a few of the other ones I've listed. Um, I go from a mean, ornery old fart to a very happy, <laughs> likable guy. And it's really a pretty amazing transformation. So I'm looking at the GPS here trying to figure out if I'm going the right direction. I don't even know if I'm going to the right clinic. A little town of 4,000 people has two freaking clinics. Well, I can imagine only one of them has an MRI machine. So let's hope it's uh, the one I'm going to. Right now I'm in Oconto. We're getting into it. I've been here once before when I filmed that ice push. Weird. Um, and uh, my buddy Steve actually only lives about six miles away, so I might stop and visit him today. Just completely unannounced. And uh, yeah, I, from what I can tell, it's a very, very pretty little town. Alright, so we want to go 620 Smith Ave. Yeah, there's 22. Okay. Copper Culture State Park. Street. Yep. Should have eaten something. I'm freaking starving. Oh my god. I completely forgot about eating. There's a quick trip. I could get something there after I'm done. It's quarter to 11. I gotta be there by 11. Yeah, yesterday. Oh, watch out, Mr. Squirrel. I will kill you. Um. Oh, they got a river right beside the street. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I know where I'm bringing the family. But that's the Peshtigal. Uh, what was I was gonna say now. I'm having a little bit better of a day than I was yesterday. Sorry for venting on you guys. <laughs> it's just bad shit. There's always gonna be a kid that messes with your fan, your, you know, and and then obviously we're gonna be living there for a while and so we're gonna watch this kid grow up and guaranteed I'm probably gonna have a few spats with his family he's probably gonna you know not receive it well and when he becomes a teenager he'll probably vandalize my house or my sh 
shed. Maybe throw a rock through my window. Ooh, Lumber Mill Gallery. I think it's closed. You know how it is. God, I hope this is the right place. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. Aurora Health Center. I can't imagine how he's going to be when he turns 13, 14. If he's this bad now, oh boy. It's going to get really bad. Alright, looks like we're here. I hope. Uh, this looks pretty damn small. I'm going to run in to make sure. Probably still make it the other place. Let's just say that this is a very, very small clinic. I will be right back. All right, so I'm like a big ass idiot. Oh, it's a dental clinic. <laughs> All right. Um, found it. Yeah, it was one place I didn't think it would be. All right, let's go here. Dylan Health, of course it's Dylan Health. What? Stupid. Oh, now it's all the way across town. Or something. Well, I'll show you guys around while I'm doing this. Alright, we made it. Yay! <laughs> oh, I just gotta turn around a little bit there. <coughs> Which is bound to happen in the new town. Sure is a beautiful little town though. God. I ain't kidding guys. There's like two rivers and And get this. It's all all the well, from whatever streets I, I noticed, it seems to be mostly all ATV route. Funny thing is there's no ATV trails. So whatever. Alright, let's go get this done. By far, the worst MRI experience I've ever had. Oh my god, my back is absolutely dead. They had me lay on my stomach for an hour. Not 20, not a half an hour. Like they said it would be, it was a full hour. And I paid for it. Oh my god, before, probably about halfway through, the, um, since I screwed up on the first one, I guess my hand was too close to my face or some shit. They, uh, let's see if I can show it to you, but, um, what was I saying? It was, it was too close, so they had to stop and start all over and move my hand out further and, um, it was about halfway through, I, I, I was in like horrible pain. I mean, my back was just terrible. So I, and then the little emergency squeeze ball was over here in my arm and I'm laying like this and I couldn't get at it. And um, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm like, you know, I don't want to move because I don't have to start all over again. And I'm like, fuck it. And I grabbed it. I reached down and grabbed the ball with my teeth. And I, and I like started chomping on it. And like, what's the matter? I'm like, my back. I go. And she's just like, well, okay, well, we have three minutes. And I'm like, fine, screw it. Do the three minutes. You know, it felt, it did not feel like three though. It felt like about five or six. I was pissed. I got out and I'm just like, what the hell? This is the worst MRI. I didn't get to listen to music. Nobody told me I was doing a good job. You know. Wow, what is this place? And I was just fuming. And um, they were like, oh, you know, well, we we work differently than where you're used to. You know, which is what the Marshall Clinic I'm used to. Oh, look at this building. Can you see this? No, you can't. Very pretty building. 
Wow. Alright. Well, anyway. Um, anyway, so we finally got out of there. And, um... Oh, yeah, and it wasn't a normal MRI. It was an MRI in a semi-truck. <laughs> if we believe that one. I've never, I've never heard of that. I did not know that those existed. And, uh, I'm just like, what the hell, you know? How can I even drive around with it? I mean, I know they're highly sensitive machines and what about the, tra the you know, the bumps in the road and everything else? Uh, I was just, I was kind of blown away by it. I thought it was really cool, but tell you what the team of people operating it highly unimpressive I don't know where I'm going this doesn't seem right this is beautiful homes no this isn't right Wow! Where the hell did I just end up? Oh, screw it. Holy shit! That is an old church. Redundant sentence, I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, it's got yeah, literally everything. It's got railroad tracks, it's got rivers. It's a campground. It's got a motel. What is over there? I think the snowmobile was broke down. I drove by here earlier and there's a snowmobile to the right. And it looks like that snowmobile was something somebody left it there. Yeah, I see footprints coming away from it. Alright. Old church, wow. Alright, where are you, quick trip? Attention to the road. Son of a bitch. Alright, that is a roar health, so I've gone too far. Pick up Jack from the daycare. We'll get home. I'm gonna be there by one. It's 12:30 now. Holy shit! Look at this boat. Wow! 
it's a big boat. <laughs> I guess that's the Oconto River. Beautiful little town. I believe a town this size will allow ATVs all over it. It's really pretty neat. Oh my god, right there's a freaking quick trip. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and there's a McDonald's. What else is over here? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. That hurt? I'll give them to you in a minute. Oh my goodness, they're all icky and dirty. You don't need to play with them right now. So did you have fun? Yeah. What'd you guys all do? Play. Play? Yeah. Was it a good was it a good day of play today? Yeah. Oh, that rhymed like hell. <laughs> what? They need what I'm Happy day, Nintendo. Oh, I have no idea. That sounds cool, though. Yeah. I want to go. I want to go. Wait, we gotta stop. We gotta go to the school. So just wait, okay? Oh God. <sighs> Look at that. Wow. You can't see? See, look, he's dumping the snow into the... the dump. Yeah, into the into the dump truck, yeah. Daddy can't talk today. Good morning. Good morning. Did you have a good nap? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I don't know, go find out. Is she in her bedroom? Nope. Where is she? Can you find her? Go look in the living room. Where is she? Yeah. You want your bouncy ball? Oh. 
Look what we got. Oh. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Show us how you play with it. Whoa. Good throw. Oh, Chester sees it. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Head back up, okay. Whoa. Where'd it go? <laughs> Good throw. Oh. There it is. Oh no. Get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah, so today I went to the antique store and I bought this for Amanda because she's been wanting a nightstand beside her bed. Beside her bed. And I've got this crazy dog here. He's got ear mites. We can't seem to get rid of. What are you doing? No, get down, Belle. No, she just came in. Yeah, let's go set this up. I think that'll work. Yeah. It's not much room. We live in a freaking. Or we sleep in a coffin here. It's pretty small in this room, but I ever got one over there. And now uh, the wife has one. I also got her something else. I don't know what it is about this little pan, but I think it's just really pretty. Maybe the patina. I don't know what I'm thinking about. Hanging it right here beside her um, coffee cup holder. I think that'll look nice. So yeah, let's do that. So there we go. I just quickly hung one of these up, a little coat hanger hook. And um, yes, I used anchors, because otherwise it won't stay, but I just love this pan. <laughs> it's just, why do I love it? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but it is pretty. So, hopefully the wife likes it too. Come on, it's kind of a Valentine's Day thing, I guess. Wish I had something for this corner. I'll have to do some thinking on it. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, got everything I wanted to get done today, except for a lot of stuff that I didn't. <laughs> Which, what sense does that make? Anyway, um, yeah, so, got that pan up, got the, um, the nightstand up for Amanda. Uh, I think I'm gonna make her a little dangly thing to balance out the um, the frying pan. I don't know yet. I was thinking like two adjoined hearts out of um, something or another. Honestly, I have no clue. I'm still guessing. I kind of wanted to keep it in the kitchen theme, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching, and remember, if I don't have a thousand subs by February 20th, on the channel, that's it, it's gone. So, I recommend sharing, um, subscribing, you know, commenting, uh, yeah, all that fun stuff, because I need your help. So, until the next one. I will catch you guys later.